What is up guys and welcome back to my channel. By far the most requested type of videos that I am now getting to make are training videos. If this is the first time that you are seeing me, I am a dog mom of two, but I am not a dog trainer. I'm not a dog professional. I'm not a veterinarian anything in any sort of way. So I am going to make some training videos because you're requesting them, but please do not take anything that I say as professional advice. If your dog needs training, please take them to a professional and don't take advice from a random person like me on YouTube. So with that being said, in today's video, I'm going to tell you five different commands that I think that you should teach your puppy right away. You will notice that I do a lot of hand and verbal cues whenever I am doing different commands, and I think that's really important because if you're in a really loud situation and your dog can't really hear you. I think it's important and helpful to be able to just give the hand signal to the command you need them to do so that they can understand what you want them to do. Or if your hands aren't free, you can verbalize it to them. Some trainers like to train with a clicker, some like to do treats, some like to not do treats, some like to use yes. I personally am not a yes person, I'm not a clicker trainer, and I do use treats. I use good girl. That is my yes. I know that a lot of trainers probably would not agree with that, but that's how my dogs have been trained, so that's what they know to respond to. When you're doing training with your dog, I would try to initially keep the training sessions a little bit shorter so that you can keep their attention. If for some reason it seems like you're losing them, try to go off track a little bit, do something else, and come back to it. If the dog is not responding to the treats that you have, maybe try something a little bit higher value. So the first command that I think it is important for your dog to know as soon as possible is sit. Sit to me is a command that is like an automatic command. Whenever my dog comes up to greet any person, I want them to sit to greet them. This should be like an automatic behavior. When they see somebody, oh, okay, I need to sit. And I'm not going to get any attention until I sit. When I call them to come to me, they know to sit. When we're waiting for something, they know to sit and wait. When I open a door, they know to sit and wait until I call them to come out. I even have them sit and wait for their food for each meal, they sit and they wait. And that has been a really good way for my girls to get really good at sit. As soon as the girls see me fill up their bowls, they know that they're going to sit there and they're going to wait until I tell them that they can have their food. I think this is the easiest one that you possibly could teach your dog. I have a year and a half old golden retriever and a four month old golden retriever. They are full blood sisters, but they knew how to sit. Both of them the day that we brought them home. So for sit, you want them to first get all four paws onto the ground. So if that's where you're at, that's what you need to start with. So when I stand in front of my girls, they already know that I want them to sit, so they're automatically sitting. So when you're getting a new dog to sit, first get their attention with the treat. Put the treat in front of their nose so they know that you're there. Keep it close to their nose and slowly lift the treat up. As soon as the butt touches the ground, that's when you would treat and reward them. Good girl. Koba, sit. Good girl. And my hand signal for sit is this. I simply just flick my wrist up and they know that that's what that means. So I'm staying in front of her. She already knows that I want her to sit. I'm gonna toss a treat to distract her. Arcee, sit. Good girl. This time I'll do it without a verbal cue. Larcy. Good girl. Larcy. Good girl. The second command I think your dog should know right away is to stay. Whether this is a stand stay, sit stay, down stay, etc. Start small and slowly work your way up with time, distractions, and distance. For me, the easiest one has been the sit and stay. Because a sit has become so automatic to them, Getting them to stay in a sit has been by far the easiest one. So getting them to stay, I start by putting them in a sit and then I will put my hand up and say stay. This is my hand cue for stay. So even if I don't actually physically say stay, if my hand is up, they know that they are supposed to stay where they're at and not move until I tell them. Sit. Good girl. Stay. Stay. Okay, good girl. Like I said, start small. Get them in a sit, stay, wait a second, treat. Stay, wait two seconds, treat. Three, four, five, six seconds. Then slowly add in a step, take one step back. Stay, good job. Stay, 
Good job. When I'm first stitching stay, I definitely have to say it a few times to get it to stick to them. But with where Larcy's at right now, I can say stay once and she will stay. With Koba, I still have to say it a few times. Slowly, as you work up to distance, you can wean out holding up the hand the whole time. But at least for my experience, having the hand up while they are learning is very helpful. Once you're able to add in some distance and time, add in distractions, have someone bounce a ball around you, have some dogs barking and neighbors walking by, crinkling up a bag of chips, anything that is going to break their concentration and get them to want to get up and move before you tell them to. The third thing that I think is very important for your puppy to know right away is their name. They gotta know who you're talking to. If you just walk into a room and say sit, your dog's not going to sit because they don't know that you're talking to them. Both of my dogs caught on to their names very quick and I simply would just make it fun, make it exciting, get a treat, put it in front of my face, say their name. As soon as they looked at me, I gave them the treat. As soon as they look at me, I give them the treat because I want them to know that when I say their name, I want them to look at me. So. I know some trainers will do a separate command of look at me. I simply just do their name and that's when they know, okay, I need to stop what I'm doing for a second and look at mom. Mom needs me for something. Marcy, good girl. Marcy, good girl. Once they're able to catch on to their name, slowly move the treat a little bit away from your face. And as soon as they look away from the treat to your head, that's when you reward them. Marcy. Good girl. The fourth thing that I think is extremely important for your dog to know right away is to come. This is so important because you need your dog to come to you in any situation. Again, start small, work your way up, getting their attention, make it fun, high pitched, give them a reason to actually come to you. So I think it's easiest if you teach them their name first and then get them to come. Because if they know their name first, they know again who you're talking to. Be excited about this, have your hands out, try to not make their name a negative thing in any sort of way. My hand signal for come is simply just taking my hand and motioning it towards me. Sit. Stay. Come. Good girl. Sit. Stay. Come. Good girl. The fifth thing that I think is important for your dog to know right away is down. So I use my down in a few different ways, which is probably not the best thing. I use my down as a lie down. I use my down as an off if they're jumping to get off of you. And I use my down as a go lay down. If someone's at the door, I need to go get a package, I need to walk outside for a second, and I need them to go lay down and wait for me to come back. So once they master a sit, I think it's super easy to get them to do a down because they both go hand in hand. Once you're able to get them in a sit, take the treat at their nose and have them follow it down all the way to the ground. The second that both of their front legs are completely on the ground, that's when you treat and reward them. If I want them to lay down, my hand signal for down is stopping my fingers and pointing down towards the ground. If I want them to get down as in like they're jumping and I want them to get off, I do a push motion with my hands as an off. If I want them to go lay down, I swing my arm out toward the bed, snap my fingers, then go down so she knows to go over to her bed and lay down and wait for me to come back. Down. Good girl. If I want her to go lay down, she knows that I don't want her to go lay down on this bed. Oh, okay. Or she just did it before I even demoed. And she knows that she has to stay here until I come back. Or tell her she can move. Larcy, come. Good girl. Larcy, go lay down. Good girl. Stay. Go. Go. Marcy. Good girl. Training is definitely something that takes some patience. It takes some time. You're going to have good days. You're going to have bad days. But my biggest advice is just to stick with it and be 
consistent. We have had trick time with our girls every night since we got them and it has been so helpful. Working on a couple tricks at a time, slowly introducing new ones, and slowly taking each of those tricks to the next level. Try not to do too much at once so you don't overwhelm them. Try to keep it exciting, try to keep it fun, try to keep their attention. And for you, try not to get frustrated. If you are working on something and they're just not picking it up, take smaller baby steps. Instead of making it such a big motion, try to break it up into smaller and smaller and smaller, smaller steps if you can. Once you get the basics down, take it up a notch. So once you're able to get them to sit, try to get them to sit while you're standing. Try to get them to sit while you're outside with distractions. Try to get them to sit while you are 20 feet away from them. Try to get them to sit when they're in the middle of playing. When you're starting out training, try to start in a quieter, more familiar setting so that way your dog is more comfortable and they have less distractions so that their chances of focusing on you and focusing on what you're doing and trying to get them to do is going to be higher. So ideally this would be starting inside of your home. Once you master this, take it outside, add in all the extra scents and smells and sounds. That adds the distractions, that makes things a little bit more complicated. So like 90% of my training that I've done with my dogs is from myself, just things that I've learned along the way. I have done a few classes with a professional, but nothing really that crazy. A lot of what I know is self-taught. But one really helpful piece of advice that a trainer did give me once is that, especially whenever you have a puppy, make them work for their food. So especially with my girls, I did not let them have any special treats or any fruits, vegetables, anything extra aside from their food until they were a couple of months old because I didn't want their bellies to get upset by anything. So when we did trick time, which I do every single night, we just simply used their regular food. And this trainer suggested to me, instead of giving them a full meal at meal time, give them their food as a treat throughout the day whenever you see them doing things that you like. And I thought that was a really great advice because when you first get a new puppy and you're starting to figure out what you want them to do, what you don't want them to do, they're trying to learn what you want them to do, what you don't want them to do. This is a great way to catch them in the act and to reward them. Some dogs may not always go along with this in just working for their regular food, so you might have to get a more higher value treat, but for my girls, they did just fine with this. They will do anything for food. They're very food motivated. So there you have it. There are five different commands that you should be teaching your dogs right away, and hopefully some easy tips and suggestions on how to teach them to your dog. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure you let us know by hitting the thumbs up up button, give this video a like. If you're not already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We make a ton of cute, fun puppy slash dog videos over here. Make sure that you follow us on Instagram, and as always, we will see you in our next video. Bye, guys!